Jerry Jones is now comparing this team's offense to Dallas's Super Bowl winning teams from the 90s, saying, quote, anytime you put in place the one-two punch, I know if they tried to put up more in the line to stop Emmett back in those days, then Troy would pick them apart, going down the field one way or the other. I don't know if I've seen us since those days being able to take whatever the defense gives us and find an answer, end quote. All right, look, I'm not so sure that the new triplets compared to the original version just yet, because they haven't won anything yet, but Troy, does Jerry actually have a point? Well, what did he say again that I used to do? Uh, pick them apart. I, I, pick yeah, them apart. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the only part of the quote you've heard. <laughs> that, that's all I heard. Um, I, 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 I think there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, we had that ability, and but yet I think when you look at this Cowboys team, I think it started last year when they picked up Amari Cooper. There, there was pre-Amari Cooper, and then there was after Amari Cooper. They were a much better offense then. And this year, as we saw in week one, I don't know how much it had to do with your Giants defense, Michael, or, you know, offensively. But uh, a year ago, when he had some of those looks, he did not connect on those. Uh, I thought he played well. It was obvious he put a lot of time in this offseason. And uh, I think he's poised to have a great, great year here in his fourth season. Yes. You know, Troy, I'm I'm live in Oklahoma, Thackerville, Oklahoma. Hello, all 70 of you. How you doing? Um, sometimes in the horse business, you got a great stud and you breed it for about nine years. And then after a while, you kind of, everything gets kind of flat. You got to move him on down the line, get some new blood in there. That brings me to Kellen Moore, the offensive coordinator. It's <laughs> <laughs> new blood. Okay. Oh. He comes in. He looks like a kid over there that really brings somebody a Dr. Pepper. But he's just, <laughs> just a baby-faced kid, but he came out of Boise State. His offense is just amazing. A lot of shift, a lot of motion. Guys moving everywhere. And all that's doing is helping his quarterback see man zone, man zone. Everybody can lock in, pick out where they want to go. And that has done, I think, marvelous for Prescott and all those weapons that he has. Just Kellen Moore shaking up that offense like a new stud. A lot of play action pass. Uh, I think it plays to what I think is Dak's strength, his ability to make plays off of the play action pass. I think you made a good point. Thank you. They're loaded at wide receiver, at tight end, at running back offensive line, defense. We talked about it earlier. This team is built to win and built to win right now. If Dak, who apparently feels like he's seeing the field better than he ever has, as you mentioned last year, maybe some of those throws weren't made. This year, it's, 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 he's seeing it. He's making the throw. It's one week. I get it. But they're built to win now. There's no doubt. And you look at that roster, there, there is not a weakness on the roster. And Terry, to your point, I think in addition to the window dressing, the shifts, the motions, what Kellen Moore was able to do was really incorporate. They're talented. And he incorporated everybody within that game plan on, on Sunday. That wasn't necessarily happening a, a year ago. But even if you just look at Prescott's footwork, he got back, the ball came out. He took a lot of sacks last year, and some of that was because he was hanging on to the football. I thought he was decisive, he was accurate, and he makes good decisions. And if that continues, uh, this Cowboys team may realize uh, the goal they've been reaching for for some time now.